morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day it is for you, and welcome. <clears throat> it is that time again where I try to do a bit of exercise. If you want to take part, you're more than welcome to. I suggest some hydration and the use of water. Well, that's what I use. If you want to use something like uh, juice or, um, or squash or something, you know, it's up to you. It should help, but uh, water has been suggested to be the best. Um, so yes, let's uh, just connect the chat. And voila. So yes, if you want to take part, like I said, more than welcome to. Um, I'm actually starting a bit earlier than I have been lately, 9.14 at the moment. Um, only because, like I said, I put something on and it ran on a bit longer than I thought. And then I thought, right, now that's finished, I'm going to start my exercise now. I need to sneeze. <coughs> Chew. <coughs> so, yes. <coughs> oh, I think I need to sneeze again. Timer. So, how is everyone today? I hope you're all doing well. Right, get uh, in three, a two, a one, and a go. <coughs> so, yes, we're doing well. If you are taking part, then congratulations, you've already done something amazing, and that is actually starting. Um, but yes, uh, like I said, starting earlier, this is my plan to try and start earlier. Um, well, obviously, so I started earlier, uh, but no, because <sighs> I'm not expecting any workers or anything to come around today, so I thought, right, try and start earlier. Um, hopefully when I wake up next uh, tomorrow or something I can try and start a bit earlier again it's just getting in that habit because I've gotten so used to starting late and you know so yes <coughs> uh, oh. do you know I was curious about something, which is strange. Well, I'm curious about a lot of things now and again. And um, I thought I'd look into something. Now, I don't know if you can guess what I'm gonna uh, mention, but uh, um, it's to do with something that I'm doing. Like, you know, as you can tell, I've been doing this for now. This is 122, uh, my hundred of uh, that there. My hundred and twenty second day. Um, <laughs> and I was thinking, do you know what? I wonder how long someone's done consecutively of cycling, you know, in, in, in days without taking a break, you know. So I thought I'd look into it, and oh my god, I wasn't expecting to find the results I found. <coughs> um, someone, if I understand correctly, there was one person that's done it for like 25 years or something. It's like over 3,000 days in a row, and I'm thinking, oh my god. That is quite impressive. Um, apparently, though, he's more he was more outdoor on bike, but if this person couldn't go outdoor, they were on an indoor bike. So, yes, I'm on an indoor bike, so technically it still counts. And even he stated that indoor bikes like these are harder than an outdoor bike. And I would totally agree with that because 
an outdoor bike, um, he goes, he tends, he would go for about an hour, uh, build up a sweat and that's what he would class as his um, day for, um, oh, what do you call it, to count as a thing. But what people don't realise is when you're on an outdoor bike, you can cycle for a bit and then stop pedaling. Um, with this, you stop pedaling. You, you've stopped completely, so you're not able to stop pedaling. So it's harder. I'm not sure if that's what he he was talking about, or if that's what he meant. But yeah, <coughs> that's what I found. But yeah, it, I can't remember uh, what uh, what they were named under as. 300 like 25 years of every, uh, constantly doing it every day and then uh, there was stats for uh, broke running every single day uh, from like 1965 to like 2018 I think it was or something like that running every single day like fair play man that is impressive <clears throat> and I thought, oh geez, I'm doing really well now. I thought my goal, uh, like the amount of uh, days I've got in a row, was pretty good. But geez, that kind of knocks it out of the window. <sighs> so yeah, whether I get that far, I doubt it. We'll see. But that is the five-minute mark, everyone. If that is your goal, <coughs> then well done. You have done an amazing job. If you're finishing now, I suggest you rest up, hydrate, be proud of what you've accomplished. Oh, I'm feeling hot. <coughs> but if, like me, you're carrying on to the next mark of 10 minutes, and let's keep doing the best we can. We're doing really well so far, so keep it up. I believe in you, each and every one of you. <sighs> <clears throat> Come on. We can do this. Support. It is truly and gratefully appreciated. Not only does it help me, but it help blah, blah, blah. not only does it help me, but it can help inspire other people to take part, <coughs> or help motivate someone to reach a goal that they're struggling with. <sighs> and I didn't realise I didn't start the, the video on my TV. So my TV was just sitting idle right back the end. Like I said, I can't stand it when that does that. <sighs> Come on, we're doing well. So yes, uh, I was kind of surprised. Um, like, uh, they went into all the different details on how people start was started to do it since, uh, was it? What was that bike, the penny farthing or something? You know, the big wheel in the front and the tiny wheel in the back. People were doing it since back then, and I was thinking, geez, really? Oh, that's insane. <sighs> but yeah, it was kind of interesting. I kind of wish I'd get the page type of thing. Like, um, <laughs> uh, there was one part where he was saying, oh, if you know anyone that's uh, kept consecutive days, let me know. And uh, this person wrote in or sent in a message, something like, Oh, I emailed you when I was at a day 100 and you were like, oh, mail me when you're at a 1,000. Well, now I'm at a 1,000. And I was like, jeez. <sighs> <sighs> Cycling streaks, or streaks they call them, I think. <sighs> oh. But fair play, some of them were really impressive. 
Like he would do an hour a day. Okay, I do I do an hour a day, but it's kind of split up into like uh, what was it? Half an hour in the morning, half an hour at night. Whereas then he would do an hour just once, you know. So <clears throat> I don't know. Ah, but yeah, I thought he played that. That's impressive. If I remember correctly, they had other different kinds of streaks, and I think they were swimming and stuff like that. And I thought, geez. Come on. We're doing well. We're doing well. Keep it up. Come on, we got this. Ah, oh, jeez. I believe in you, each and every one of you. You're doing an amazing job. I hope you know that. Oh, I was so close to the 10 minute mark. Ah, so, if you're still going, then you should be really proud. Ah, we're doing really well. Whew. Come on, keep it up. Ah. Ah. We're nearly there. Come on, we got this. Just a few more seconds. That's it. Well done to every single one of you that took part. That is the 10 minute mark. If that is your goal and you're finishing now, I suggest you rest up, hydrate and be proud of what you've accomplished. It is such an amazing achievement. Well done. But if like me, you're carrying on to the next mark of 15 minutes, one five, then let's hydrate and let's keep doing the best we can because we're doing such an amazing job so far so let's keep it up shall we support is truly and gratefully appreciated not only does it help me but it can help inspire other people to take part or help motivate them to reach a goal that they're struggling with so thank you now back to what I was about to say yesterday as some of you know um, I had inspectors round and you know um, Later on in the day, after that they had been, I was like, oh, do you know what? I totally forgot to mention some stuff to them. And I don't know why it just slipped my mind. <sighs> but yes, that fan, I find that so annoying. Like, I don't like writing stuff down. Um, so I try to avoid writing as much as possible. Um, so I resorted to taking pictures and um, uh, was it so I was going to use that um, as my guide instead of writing down you know and I come across one point where I tried showing one of the guys some, uh, a picture of one of the problems and I like I don't know if it's 
I don't know why. It just to me it didn't seem like you was too interested in what I had had to say too much. He just wanted to inspect certain areas. Like I did, um, like when I'm trying to explain uh, what da uh, certain things are damaged and stuff like that. It didn't seem like he was too interested about it. Um, which kind of bugged me a bit because uh, this this is my stuff that it, uh, this place uh, that I was forced into had damaged. So. Um, when tr when I was trying to show this guy the pictures and he he didn't seem interested, I kind of forgot to show him the others, like the other problems I got that it had. And now it's just come in well come into my head yesterday, and now it's just popped into my head again, and I'm thinking oh, it's really really bugged me now. So I'm kind of hoping when the next guy comes around, I can mention it to him then. And possibly he can get something sorted out. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Because, <sighs> um, for example, right, my bedroom. I have these black floor tiles or whatever they are down on my uh, down on the floor. Now they're meant to be safe to walk on and stuff like that. And I have this black stuff seeping through the gaps. Now I was told, oh, that's the glue. Um, give it time and it will settle. Hang on a sec. Well done, everyone. That is 15 minutes. If that is your goal and you're finishing now, well done. You've done an amazing job. You should be so proud of yourself. Congratulations. <sighs> but if, like me, you're carrying on to the next mark of 20 minutes, Let's go, we've done such an awesome job so far, so keep it up. I believe in each and every one of you, come on. Ah, thank you to anyone offering support, it is truly and gratefully appreciated. Not only does it help me, but it can help inspire other people to take part. Ah, or motivate someone to finish a goal they're struggling with, so thank you. <coughs> so yes, as I was saying, um, it's got this black stuff seeping through and I was told, oh, give it time, it's the glue, it'll stop. Okay, I've been here, what, nearly, I think, two, three years now or something, and it's still happening. It shouldn't take that long to stop. <sighs> like, if I wanted to put a carpet in there, I have a feeling, given time, it would seep through the carpet and it would ruin the carpet. I had a rug, I've had to pick up the rug so the rug doesn't get ruined. But yes, I forgot about that, didn't I? <clears throat> uh, so hopefully, when they come round, I'll remember to mention it. <sighs> come on everyone, you're doing such an amazing job. You should be so proud of what you've accomplished so far. So well done, each and every one of you. <sighs> Come on, find that pace you feel comfortable doing and just go. Go and do the best you can, you know? As long as you do that, you have nothing to be ashamed of. <clears throat> Come on, I believe in you. Each and every one of you. to each and every one of you that's taken part no matter how far you got remember what you have done today is such an amazing achievement and you should not be disappointed with whatever goal you get always be proud because remember you've gotten further than you would have if you didn't take part 
And like, I, like I've said many times, there could be a reason why you don't get to a high go. Okay, because you're not used to the exercise. If that is the case, then you need to take part, get used to it, and then slowly you will, you will improve. Then it could be your fitness level. Maybe that's not as good as you thought. If that is the case, keep taking part and slowly you, Im you will improve. If it's down to health reasons, give it time. It may be slower than the other two, but give it time and patience and try and work out a routine that works for you and you will slowly improve. <sighs> so all about finding the right um, what's the right way? Right, uh, right course for you, I suppose is the right word. I have no idea. But yeah, find the right, uh, or routine, you know, find the right routine for you and you will improve. It just takes time. <sighs> so yes, just keep it, keep at it, keep doing the best you can. <sighs> Like me, for example. I started off on a three, on a, a intensity level of three on this bike, out of eight. I'm now on six. Um, so as it starts getting, as I start getting used to certain intensities, I'll raise it up. And that keeps things going. Yes, I may struggle with the, the next level for a bit, but keep at it and you can still go. So yes, just find that right, uh, oh, what did I say, right routine for you. And you will get there slowly. And well done everyone, that is 20 minutes. If that is your goal and you're finishing now, I suggest you rest up, hydrate, be proud of what you've accomplished. That is an amazing goal, well done. But if like me, carrying on to the next mark of 25 minutes and let's hydrate and let's go let's keep doing the best we can we're doing really well so far so keep it up come on hopefully i'll be able to finish this one to finish the last one, so yes. <sighs> Come on, we can do this, we're doing really well. Thank you to anyone that's offered support, it is truly and gratefully appreciated. Not only does it help me, but it can help inspire other people to take part, or even to reach a goal that they're struggling with, so thank you. <sighs> Come on, we got this, we're doing really well. and every one of you. Keep it up. I'm hoping if they do, I did ask them to, um, if they do just arrive, to try and arrive between 9 and 10, these workers now, or inspectors. Uh, not 9 and 10, uh, 10 and 9, oh my god. Between 10 and 10.30. And he said some of them will start about eight, so yes. <coughs> I'm hoping if the, uh, for the other ones, because I, if the, they said they'll try to get in contact me, sort something out. But I said, just try and turn up about the same time, because it's not easy to contact me where I live. Because uh, for some reason, um, it, it, it's like my my where I. It's like my place is a mobile zone death zone, you know. Uh, my signal just goes, <sighs> or I'll get a slight signal. So yes, it's kind of handy when you don't want to be interrupted, but uh, when you 
waiting for phone calls and stuff like that. It's a pain in the backside. Oh, come on. We're doing really well so far, so keep it up. Come on. We got this. We're doing really well. You should be so proud of yourself. Keep doing the best you can. Come on, keep moving those legs. Up and down and around. All together now. Come on. We got this. Come on, we're doing really well. So close. One minute left to the 25 minute mark. So well done, everyone. Keep doing the best you can. Keep moving those legs. Whether you're running, cycling, walking, it doesn't matter. It's all a similar motion. Just keep it up. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, come on. We're doing really well. Itchy nose. Come on. We got this. I believe in you. Each and every one of you, come on. And we are done. That is the 25 minute mark. Congratulations. If that is your goal and you're finishing now, I suggest you rest up, hydrate, and be proud of what you've accomplished. Well done. That is amazing. But if, like me, you're carrying on to the next mark of 30 minutes, let's have our fingers crossed that I can do it today. And let's go and do the best we can. We're doing amazing so far. <sighs> Thank you to anyone that's offering support. It's truly and gratefully appreciated. Not only does it help me, but it can help inspire other people to take part <sighs> and motivate someone to reach a goal less struggling. So thank you. Come to think about it, I don't think I was able to say congratulations to anyone that reached the 25 minute mark yesterday. Because I don't think I really noticed until afterwards. So yes, uh, I can't, I, I'm kind of sorry about that. I could, I should have tried to at least end it a lot better. It's just, I was so... What, uh, it, I don't like when when I expect someone to say okay we're going to turn up at a certain time I expect them to turn up that, at that certain time and considering it's the council and st uh, stuff like that and usually they don't turn up on time usually they're a bit later I wasn't expecting, expecting them to be like 30 minutes earlier so yes um, Oh, come on everyone, keep it up. If you're finding it hard to breathe or if your breathing's getting a bit erratic, try breathing in through your nose, not through your mouth. Nice and slow, big deep breaths. If that helps with your breathing, then bonus, that is awesome. But if it doesn't, now I'm not saying it just because we're near the end, I mean this throughout any time of the exercise. But if it doesn't help uh, this exercise, or if you feel that you're in too much pain to carry on, then please stop. I cannot state this enough, but I'd rather you stop and be safe then you're trying to carry on pushing yourself and end up hurting yourself. So yes, please, if that, if what I've just said, uh, if what I just said falls for you or counts for you, or you know what I mean, you know, like you find it hard to breathe or 
you you end up being in so much pain you don't want to carry on but you try to don't I'd rather you stop rest up be proud of whatever goal you accomplished and then just take part in another day you know <sighs> whatever goal you reached remember remember that time and be like right okay I'm gonna try and get to that time again and do it that way because I'd rather you do it that way than you trying to push yourself not knowing your body limits and then hurting yourself but for the people that do know their body limits like I do I know whether my body can keep going or I can't then by all means as long as you can do it safely then by all means carry on doing it safely you know your body better than I do just please be careful come on we're doing really well we can do this we're so close now come on keep it up keep moving those legs seconds left come on and that's it that is 30 minutes everyone congratulations if that is your goal and you're finishing now I suggest you rest up hydrate and be proud of what you've accomplished well done that is amazing chance you're doing beast mode which I mean as a compliment not an insult and by beast mode I mean going past the 30 minute mark oh, then please remember oh, to hydrate keep doing what you're doing safely and well done you're doing such an amazing job uh, you should be so proud <sighs> But yes, I do not think this thing is helping whatsoever, so I have no idea. I suppose I might try and take that seat padding off and see if it feels different, but uh, I don't think it's making any difference, which kind of sucks, really. I was hoping it would. I got a feeling it's down to my size, not the the seat cushion itself so yeah not much I can do uh, but well done to everyone that took part you did such an amazing job you should be so proud of yourself not only did you take part which is the hardest step but then to get as far as you did well done that is amazing so make sure you're never disappointed you should always be proud with whatever goal you accomplished so well done I know for some of you it may be harder than others and that's understandable you know just find that pace you feel comfortable doing or rhythm you know and just keep at it you will get better it may take longer than it may take some other people but that's down to people's bodies everyone's different you know some people pick up things better quicker than others so yes just be patient keep at it and always be proud of what you've accomplished because this is an amazing achievement no matter how far you get whether it's 5 10 20 it doesn't matter always be proud so well done to each and every one of you and thank you to everyone that's offered support no matter how you s offer support whether it's just by uh, lurking or um, if it's by popping in just saying hi you can do this it doesn't matter you know it it's all helps 
and it just doesn't help me but it can help inspire other people to take part or it could give that person that little push you know that they may need to reach a goal that they've been struggling to reach for ages so well done and thank you oh jeez oh, but yes uh, I have a very busy day today um, and due to that my afternoon exercise may be a bit off um, like you know I've been trying to get it closer to 5 5 30 ish sometimes it's off because I'm having to do some stuff but uh, today I gotta like pick up my nephew again from the train station and stuff like that because he will be back you know as of tonight and since I'm not 100% sure what time they're coming in um, I think it's around four or five o'clock I'm not 100% sure so if I'm right on that time that means that's the time I'm uh, meant to be doing my exercise so yes I'm expecting that to be a bit later so I do apologize for that but uh, not much I can do at the moment but yes until then I wish you all a good day morning night whatever time of day it is for you I thought my dog was just it uh, please stay safe take care remember hydrate it is important eh? and until next time I thank you and goodbye